This is Farah, Farah Hati. I'm using Rexford Center and the Stephen Noon 6th edition Health Economics Theory Insights and Industry Studies. Chapter 1, Lecture 1, What is Health Economics? First, we define health economics and then we present uh, some of the application of economics in healthcare. So as you know, healthcare is the hottest topics these days and it is most of us believe that it is a basic human right for everybody because all of us need doctor and um, many of us have been uh, treated in uh, as an inpatient outpatient in ER a hospital um, our parents use uh, home care, nursing home. Um, so in the United States, healthcare dealing with serious crisis during the past few decades. As you know, US has the most expensive and some say the least effective or with the lowest quality of care in health around the world. So national healthcare expenditure reached to uh, more than $2.7 trillion. And uh, basically, if you wanted to break it per person, each person spent more than $8,000 in 2012, which is you know, above and beyond any healthcare costs around the world. In this class, we learn how to apply economics, principles of economics to our healthcare to cost effectively use our healthcare resources. What is health economics? Economics is the, um, the study of health economics is basically using different application of various microeconomic tools to identify health issues and problems. So we use um, demand and supply production function to identify the problems in health care, in our healthcare system. And then the goal of health economics is basically by understanding, by better understanding the problems, then we also come up with the uh, right solution, corrective health policies, that can be designed and proposed to make our healthcare system more cost effective. Now, I know some of you may actually not like when we are talking about the cost of healthcare or uh, putting value in human life, basically, is not ethical, I know, but you can actually um, look at the cost in different you know, terms, basically, you can uh, in a sort of looking at the dollar value, you can say that um, intervention A can decrease the length of a stay in hospital one day compared to intervention B. So instead of saying that, you know, intervention A basically is more um, cost effective, uh, you can, you know, uh, look at it uh, by number of the hospital, number of the days in hospital or number of the hours a surgeon has to work on a patient. So instead of looking at the dollar cost. So in any cases, um, so you can either use the um, resources, healthcare resources uh, in different um, options that we have, or you can actually put the dollar value and then make a decision how we can allocate the resources more cost effectively. Now, if we look at the dictionary to define the health economics, there, there is a broad range of concepts, theories, and topics. So it basically studies the supply and demand of healthcare resources and the impact of healthcare resources on a population. But if we wanted to just um, summarize in a short, you know, few uh, words, 
Um, the definition of health economics is defined in terms of determination and allocation of healthcare resources. Allocation of healthcare resources. Why do we have to allocate healthcare resources optimally, best, most cost-effective way? Because we are dealing with uh, limited resources. So uh, we are dealing with limited resources and unlimited ones. So what are the resources? Let's define resources first, specifically healthcare resources. We can actually categorize healthcare resources in three big categories. Medical supply, which you know are pharmaceutical goods and uh, basically devices, um, such as uh, you know any medication type of medication, and say that blood pressure devices and bed line linings and uh, you know these are basically uh, supplies. Personnel are doctors, nurses, uh, health economists, teacher, and also biostatistician, lab assistants. These are all basically um, resources, uh, human capital resources. And then we have capital inputs, so such as nursing home, hospital facilities, and any resources that can be used to generate healthcare services are actually defined as a capital input. Now, so economics is the allocation, optimal allocation of healthcare resources. So these three big categories, we are trying to allocate them very optimally because we are dealing with limited once a lim uh, li limited resources with unlimited ones so there is a trade off you know there is a trade offs um, basically uh, between any decision you're making between the choices so resources are limited or scarce at a given point time point in time if you have a limited number of the physicians at this time and you wanted to treat them, all the patients uh, with cancer and heart disease and uh, you know diabetes basically and you're dealing with limited number of the say that uh, oncologists at this time then in um, so you decide actually we need more doctor in oncology in 10 years then you train more physician in oncology uh, then what happened then you have to train less number of the physicians with um, uh, basically a specialty in um, heart disease uh, so then what happened so you're dealing with the trade-offs and the other thing is that when you're actually training more physicians uh, with especially of um, a specialty in the oncologies you have to train less number of nurses and uh, say that biostatistician. So in basically at any point of time, you're dealing with resources. So you have to carefully decide, you know, basically how many doct a doctor, nurses, and biostatistician you have to train in 10 years because, um, you know, we have limited number of resources and we wanted to use them very optimally um, among all the unlimited uh, wants we have. So society and dealing with uh, limited resources and unlimited uh, wants. Uh, we are dealing, this is big, basically um, the problem is the scarcity. We say that economics is the um, science of um, allocation, allocation of the uh, resources optimally and the reason we need to learn this science because we are dealing with a scarcity all the resources are scarce at any given uh, point in time um, so any decision you make at this uh, there is a trade-off you have to give up the second best choice if uh, making the first choice is your first best choice, then you are giving up the second best choice. If you're deciding to use this 
the number of the grant, like say that dollar of the grant you have on um, basically um, R&D to come up with the good best medication for a, can a patient with cancer, then you are basically giving up that um, opportunity of using those resources in R&D for uh, uh, finding the cure for patient with diabetes. So uh, this is actually uh, the reason we have to um, uh, study uh, health economics. Let's talk about the four basic questions in economics.